President Donald Trump said Tuesday he is removing Rex Tillerson after a rocky tenure and nominating CIA Director Mike Pompeo in his place, a shakeup that appeared to take the Secretary of State by surprise. I've worked with Mike Pompeo now for quite some time, Trump told reporters outside the White House. Tremendous energy. Tremendous intellect. We're always on the same wavelength. The relationship has been very good, and that's what I need as Secretary of State. Story continued below Trump said he and Tillerson did not see eye to eye on major foreign policy issues, naming as an example the Iran nuclear deal. The president said he wanted to back out of the agreement, but he said Tillerson supported staying in. I wish Rex Tillerson well, the president said. I'm really at a point where we're getting very close to having the cabinet and other things that I want. I think Rex will be much happier now, he said. Trump and Tillerson have been frequently at odds since the former Exxon Mobil CEO took over at Foggy Bottom. But a spokesman for Tillerson said Tuesday he had not been planning to leave and wasn't sure why he was being ousted now. The secretary had every intention of remaining because of the tangible progress made on critical National security issues, said Steve Goldstein, Under Secretary of State for Public Affairs. The secretary did not speak to the president this morning and is unaware of the reason, but he is grateful for the opportunity to serve, and still believes strongly that public service is a noble calling and not to be regretted, a senior White House official said Trump wanted Tillerson out so he could have his new team in place before upcoming talks with North Korea. With North Korean leader Kim Jong-un, negotiations were a long way off. I don't think they see eye to eye on anything, said one senior administration official. By signing up you agree to receive email newsletters or alerts from Politico. You can unsubscribe at any time. The strength of the secretary's relationship with Trump has been a regular source of speculation. Tillerson reportedly referred to the president as a moron last year, and while the secretary held an impromptu press conference in the wake of that report, he did not outright deny having used the term. Tillerson also went further than the president in condemning the Russian government for its alleged role in the attempted assassination of a former Russian spy in the United Kingdom earlier this month. Though Trump on Tuesday said, it sounds to me like they believe it was Russia, and I would certainly take that finding as fact, Trump has fired aides without warning before. Then Chief of Staff Rience Priebus found out last summer that he had been replaced when Trump announced that John Kelly would be his new Chief of Staff. Former FBI Director James Comey was alerted to his own firing last year by media reports, since he was not in Washington when a White House aide delivered Comey's termination letter to the Bureau's Pennsylvania Avenue headquarters. Pompeo's favored status in the West Wing for months led Trump was at one point expected to tap Sen on the table ahead of the 2018 midterms, according to a person close to Cotton. The potential offer also became less attractive to the senator, who would have been giving up a safe Senate seat to run the CIA for just two and a half years if Trump loses re-election. I respect his intellect. I respect the process that we've all gone through together. We have a very good relationship, for whatever reason, Trump said of Pompeo, a former Republican congressman from Kansas. I actually got along well with Rex, but really, it was a different mindset. It was a different thinking. I am deeply grateful to President Trump for permitting me to serve as director of the Central Intelligence Agency and for this opportunity to serve as Secretary of State, Pompeo said in a statement. His leadership has made America safer and I look forward to representing him and the American people to the rest of the world. To further America's prosperity, the Senate Foreign Relations Committee said Tuesday it expects to hold a hearing on Pompeo's nomination in April. Tillerson's ouster and the president's selection of Pompeo to replace him earned mixed reviews from Obama administration. Veterans who, as a group, have been widely critical of Tillerson's leadership at the State Department. Tommy Vita, a former National Security Council spokesman under Obama who now co-hosts a popular anti-Trump podcast, wrote on Twitter that Tillerson